are in the Victory Kids room. I am Miss Jolene, and I have my awesome helper, Miss Cindy. Hi! And we are the teachers in Victory Kids at Victory Church, and we have uh, kids ages five through second grade. And I wanna tell you kids, we miss you so much. We, we do. We do, Miss Cindy and I both miss you. We miss your beautiful faces, and even though we can't see you, we want you to give us all a big smile. Give us a big smile, thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. So we are so blessed to be here and do this little lesson for all of our Victory Kids. We're so I'm excited. excited. I'm super excited. Yes, we are here. We're gonna do a lesson today and the name of the lesson is The Little Boy and His Lunch. The Little Boy and His Lunch. So, this lesson is taken from the book of John in the Bible, in the New Testament, and we've talked about our Bibles in Victory Kids, and John was one of Jesus' best friends, Miss Cindy. Yes, Miss Jolene. No, you need to pay attention. I I'm paying attention, okay. Miss Jolene, but, but you said the word hungry, <gasps> and I'm so hungry. My mom packed me a little snack, and I just thought I could maybe have some Right well, now. well, let's let's talk about that. Okay. 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 I, I don't want you to eat in front of our victory kids and me. That's that's not very nice to eat in front of other people when we don't have any food. Mm -hmm. But I'm really hungry. I know. But let's do this. I will let you take out what's in your bag so you can okay. show the boys and girls. Boys okay. and girls, do you want to see what Miss Cindy has in her bag? I know they do. I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll slowly take out what's in your bag and you can show the boys and girls. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I get to eat it. No, 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 you can't eat right now. I'm gonna ask a big favor of you, Miss Cindy, just wait. You can take out what's in your bag. Yes. But you can't eat it yet. Okay, can you do that for me? <sighs> okay. 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 <gasps> oh. <gasps> what is that? Well, Miss Jolene, it did your looks, mom pack this for you? It, she did. It, it, wow. It, oh, Miss Jolene. Well, I, I think she gave me fish. <gasps> sardines. Uh, not you a, don't like sardines? Not really. Oh. But they smell. Oh, yum. Like, like fish. Mmm. Wonderful. I have two of those. There's lots of protein in those. Mm. Oh, oh, but there's more. There's more. There's more. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Oh! I think I have some Is bread. That a donut? No, no, it's some no. bread. Oh! Mm, Miss Jolene, smell it. <gasps> smell the bread. I can make a sandwich. Oh. Oh, I can make a sandwich. That's what I'll homemade. do. It smells homemade. Mmm. Wow. So, so I can make my sandwich. I'm gonna eat it right now. Oh no, no, no. I don't want you to eat it right now. But you know okay. what? How many pieces of bread do you have there? I have one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, four, five. Five pieces of bread. Five. And how mm. many fish were in there? I only have two. Two. Well, two. that's okay. Well, you know what, Miss Cindy? I am so excited because I, your mom must just be the most intelligent person in the world. This is my lesson today. It's about a little boy and his lunch and he had five loaves of bread. Five? And they actually looked more like what you have. They okay. weren't like big loaves. They were little pieces of bread. Okay. And two fish. And two fish. I have two fish. Five loaves and two fish. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So this is my lesson. Now I don't want you to eat yet. No, no, I'm no, I'm listening. So I'm you listen. listen. I'm listening, Miss okay. Jolene. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. in this lesson, this little boy was with a big group of people and they were following Jesus. We all know who Jesus is, we love Jesus. And they were following him, and they were by the Sea of Galilee, which is like a big, big lake. And there was lots of grass in the background. And Miss Cindy, yes, these people, and you know what? It wasn't one or two or three or four. Guess how many people there were? 10. No, 5,000. 5,000? And that was just the men. 5,000? So there had to be more than 5,000. Wow, that's a lot of people. And why do you think they were following Jesus? Hmm. Maybe he... They were hungry. 
just like me because I'm super hungry. Oh, I know you are. You've okay. told me that several times. Okay. Well, they were hungry, okay, but that's not why they were following Jesus. Do you want to know why they were following Jesus? Yes. Okay. So I'll tell you. They were following Jesus because Jesus was so awesome. Do you know wow. that in God's word it says that Jesus went about, which means he went all over the place, doing good. Good. Doing good. Okay. And one of the really awesome and amazing good things he did is he healed people. Oh, wow. He healed all the sick all of them. All of them. That's not a lot. one, not two, not three or four. All of them. Wow. He healed all of them. Now, Miss Cindy. Yes. In Jesus' time, did they have hospitals? I don't think so. No, no hospitals. Mm -mm. Doctors? Mm, not like we have doctors. Not no. like we have ambulances. No, they didn't have cars. Mm. No. No. Antibiotics? No. No. And so when people were sick, Miss Cindy, some people got better, mm -hmm. but some people were sick for a long, long time and they wow. were in so much pain and they really needed a healing. Oh. Yes. And Jesus healed just some of them? No, no. I think you said all of them. All of them. It was that's wonderful. Great. So that's why the people were following Jesus and they were looking for him. Where's Jesus? Oh, there he is. And they went and followed him. Okay. And now we had how many people, at least men? 5,000. 5,000. Mm -hmm. Plus more. Plus more. there were women and children. Mm -hmm. And they, you're right, Miss Cindy, they were hungry. They were hungry. And no one had any food, or at least nobody was admitting they had food. Mm -hmm. But guess who had some food? Well, you said we were going to talk about a little boy and his lunch. So I'm guessing. It was a little boy. It was a little boy, but it mm -hmm. could have been a little girl. But in this story, oh. that's right. It was a little boy. And they say he was around the ages of five to seven. And Miss Cindy, that is so exciting because that's the age of our kids. That's five the age to seven of our, in our class. That's right. Our victory kids are ages exciting. five through second grade, which is usually age seven. So this little boy, he was so well, he had that lunch and he was really hungry, just like you are, Miss Cindy. Mm -hmm. And when John, one of Jesus's best friends, who wrote this book, by the way, he saw, oh, that little boy has some food. Oh, Miss Cindy. Well, this is my food. Because my mom packed it for me. This is my lunch and this is a small amount and I'm super hungry. This is mine. But Miss Cindy, mm -hmm. there are 5,000 hungry people. Look at them all. But oh, but this is my lunch, Miss Jolene. Okay, well, he wouldn't share his lunch. He did share his lunch. He did? He shared his lunch. He gave it oh. to John. Okay. And John gave it to Jesus. I could share my lunch then. Yes, and just like you, Miss Cindy, this little boy had five loaves. Five. One. Five. Two. Three. Four. Five. Mm. And two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. Okay. So John brought the food to Jesus because Jesus went mm. around doing good and he performed many miracles. And so John gave Jesus the bread. The bread. And I'll give you a piece, Miss Jolene. Oh, thank you, Miss Cindy. You're, You're welcome. Just so wonderful. You redeemed yourself. Mm. Okay, so he gave Jesus the bread, mm -hmm. and Jesus prayed for the bread, just oh. like we should always pray for our meal. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is what he said. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. We thank you for this bread. We thank you for this bread. I thank you for the little boy. I thank you for the little boy. That shared his lunch. That shared his lunch. We worship you, God. We worship you, we, God. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. Amen. And so the disciples, mm -hmm. all of Jesus' helpers, they took the bread to all the people that were sitting on the grassy fields. Mm. And they just kept giving it out and giving it out. And eating it. And giving it mm -hmm. out and eating it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they kept going. And then Jesus took the fish. The fish? And you don't mm -hmm. have to give me. Well, I can hold the container. That's okay. Unless I'll give you, you one. Me. I'll give you. I'll share my fish oh, with you, okay. Miss Jolene. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so there's my fish. 
And so Jesus took the fish mm -hmm. and he said, Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fish. We thank you for this fish. We thank you for the little boy. We thank you for the little boy that shared his lunch. That shared his lunch. We worship you. We worship you. And we thank you. And we thank you. Amen. 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 So they took, the disciples took the fish, Miss Cindy. Okay. And they shared them with all the people. And did they eat them? Oh, yes. And they kept sharing and sharing and sharing and eating and eating and eating. And do you know what, Miss Cindy? What, Miss Jolene? Did you want to eat one? I'm going to eat it. Okay. Maybe. Oh, it's good for you. It's protein. Protein. Yay! Delicious. Mmm, mm, not really, Miss Jolene. <laughs> oh, you don't like fish? Mm -mm. <gasps> well, Mmm, mm. but it, now you're not hungry anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, I think it's wonderful that you ate that fish. Mm. Sardines. Yummy. They're so good for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Now you, you take your time chewing. Chew 22 times. Okay. So boys and girls, this story is wonderful. And I'm, I'm so thankful that Miss Cindy helped me with this story because Jesus did the miracle, but who helped Jesus do that miracle, boys and girls? The little boy. The little boy just like you are. Just like you are, the mm. little boy helped Jesus do that miracle. So Jesus took the little bit that that little boy had. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he blessed all those people. And they even had 12 baskets of bread left over. 12? 12. 12 baskets. That's a lot. He really multiplied that feast. He multiplied mm. it. That's exactly right. And boys and girls, that's what I want you to remember. Even though you're little, God can use you to do great things. And he can use the little bit that you have, no matter what it is, to do great and wonderful things and miracles. So boys and girls, don't ever forget that. He can use you even though you're just little. Okay. Well, Miss Cindy, thank you for sharing your food. Oh, thank you, Miss Jolene. And I enjoyed sharing it with you. Yes. And you can I'm... have that later if you'd like. I'll okay. leave that with you. Okay, that's wonderful. I'll put that over here. So I'm just going to say a little prayer. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask the boys and girls to just pray this with me. I'm going to pray, and you pray this with me at home. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson about the little boy and the fish and his lunch. And we thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you came to this earth and died on the cross for us. We love you, Lord. And I ask you to protect the children, give them joy and peace and the Holy Ghost. And Father, help the children remember that no matter what they have, even if it's something very little, that you will bless it and you will multiply it and they will bless many people. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank Look, you, Miss Jolene. It looks like my mom gave me dessert. <gasps> dessert. <gasps> it's a little Swedish fish. Here, Miss Jolene. Oh, I love Swedish you fish. You can have you can one. Swim It'll my swim it over to oh, you. Oh, I love Swedish mm. fish. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to bite it. I'm going to bite the head. I'm going to bite the tail. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so good. Okay, boys and girls. Now, this is what I'd like you to do. We would love to hear from you. Yes. So, on your Facebook in the comments, give us a little message. Send us pictures of your beautiful faces. We'd love to see them. And you can also do some things with this lesson. You can draw a picture of a little boy with his lunch, Jesus feeding the 5,000. You can write a little story. Anything that you want to do, we'd love to see that. Yes. And we will see you guys again. We love you. Jesus loves you. Yes, we do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.